one. Greetings. This is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, trend update, Russian military police to safe zones in Syria. And we have July 24, 2017 scripture reference is out of Ezekiel 38, verse 8. After many days, you will be summoned. In the later years, you will have come into the land that is restored from the sword whose inhabitants have been gathered from many nations to the mountains of Israel, which had been a continual waste. But its people were brought out from the nations, and they are living securely, all of them. And uh, what we got here is a, a map of Israel. And we're going to focus on the phrase, quote, you will be summoned. Now the you in that phrase is Gog of Magog. The ancient land of Magog is largely regarded as modern-day Russia by secular and biblical scholars. Jewish rabbis generally contend Magog is Russia, and Gog is the leader of Magog. There's a link provided if you want some more detail on that. Uh, PaulThePoke.com, trend update, Russia, Magog, Israel, Ezekiel 38-39. Um, and the time point in the verse is in the latter years. Now, the prophet Ezekiel documented this book roughly 2,600 years ago. The Hebrew language describes the time period as being toward the end or the final period. So the question remains, is now, you know, July 2017, is this the latter years? And then the back half of the, of the verse, whose inhabitants have been gathered from many nations to the mountains of Israel, which had been a continual waste but its people were brought out from the nations and they are living securely, all of them. The nation of Israel was reborn in 1948 and recognized as a nation by the world. The mountains of Israel are located in the Golan Heights. And we're going to focus in a little tighter here. Here's the, the Golan Heights are right up here north and east of the Sea of Galilee. Now, since 1948, Jews from around the world have migrated and returned back to the promised land. And the land was a desert and barren until the people returned. Now, the immigration of the chosen people back to the land is called Aliyah. Israel has a law of return granting citizenship to people of Jewish cultural heritage. And today, the population of Israel is roughly 8.3 million for the latest census numbers. And that's a World of Meters Info, World Population Israel is a link provided for that. Uh, now, some would argue whether or not uh, they are living securely, all of them. Um, you know, basically, Israel has a lot of terrorism that's taking place right now in its country. And I think that piece of the prophecy is up for debate as of July 2017. But we also know the future holds a faulty peace deal for the people of Israel, and there may be a time where they're granted a false sense of security. Now, the context of Ezekiel 38 is a future invasion of Israel from the north. Gog of Magog will lead this invasion through the mountains of Israel or the Golan Heights. And again, that's this area up here north and to the east of the Sea of Galilee. Which brings us to today, July 24, 2017, and this is out of Russia. The Russian Defense Ministry issued the following statement. Russian military police are being introduced to, quote, safe zones in Syria. Ultimately, there are to be four safe zones in Syria, and for now, Russian troops are being sent to two safe zones. Now, two of these have yet to be established at this time. We're going to zero in on the, the allegedly, the two that are to be. And they're in the northern part of Syria. One is believed to be in the northwest part of Syria in the Idlib province. And that's this area up here in the far north of the map, south and west and south of Aleppo. Uh, it's where the, quote, rebels have control of it. And the second... Uh, safe zone is thought to be north of the Homs area, H-O-M-S. Again, it's where the rebels are occupying. Now, these two areas have not been cemented down as, quote, P 
peace safe zones. And uh, a new round of peace talks for these two safe zones is scheduled for late August. So they're a month away, and those talks are to take place in Kazakhstan. Now, one of these safe zones is in um, outside of Damascus. We'll zero in here on Damascus. And it is the eastern suburb area of Damascus in the Ghouta region. That's here in the green. It's uh, straight east of downtown Damascus. Now, at this time, nobody's following the ceasefire agreement. And fighting continues. You can see they're still dropping bombs. Even though we have a, quote, ceasefire, nobody's listening to it. Isaiah 17 and Jeremiah 49 tells us what ultimately happens to Damascus. And it's a burden too heavy to carry. Now, the last zone is the most interesting safe zone. And it's down here in the south and the west in the Golan Heights border region with Israel. And the following is from Senior Commander Sergei Rudskoy. Uh, keep in mind the blue here is the Golan Heights. We have a little pocket of ISIS down here in the gray. We have some rebels here in the green. We have Russia supporting uh, the Syrian government here in the red. And this again is from Senior Commander Sergei Rudskoy. Moscow has also informed Israel of its deployment and that the nearest Russian position is 13 kilometers or about 8 miles from the demarcation line between Israel and Syrian troops in the Golan Heights. And we know this from just five days ago. Uh, Russian forces were right here in Cunitra, in this little pocket. So... I would say that's less than eight miles, but that's just me. So at any rate, um, um, Russia's military buildup near the Golan Heights border has begun. And I suspect this will continue until the time uh, that scripture says they will invade Israel from the north through the Golan. And... Uh, Scripture also says what happens to these folks. So if you're interested in this story, please feel free to check out paulthepoke.com under the categories Ezekiel 38, 39, also Burden of Damascus, Keywords, Russia, Safe Zones, Golan Heights. Appreciate you guys listening. Thanks a lot. Take care.